and it's our job to defend the Second Amendment. Well, I understand that we don't have guns in the UK, that is true, but we don't have mass shootings either. Children aren't scared to go to you school. You have mass stabbings, lady. You have all <laughs> kinds of murder, nothing and you've got like laws same, against that. Like the same rates well, here. you can go back to your country and, and worry about your no guns. That's very kind. We like ours here. Huh? There seems to be no bottom to the well of stupidity that comes from the very stupidest of those among us. And it's uncanny that the very stupidest among us seem to always be in power. It's almost like you gotta be stupid to get power. I mean, just look at this short yet incredibly powerful clip we just saw. Powerful for the level of its stupidity. I mean, can you believe your very eyes? Because I can't. Is that man really wearing a powder blue suit in the House of Representatives? Trying to be taken seriously? I'm sorry, that's obviously not what the major part of this clip is. The thing obviously we can't take our eyes off is Lauren Boebert in the background, staring into the distance, focusing as hard as she can, trying with all her might to come up with a coherent thought, but she was unsuccessful. And also there's another thing in the clip, it's, it's, it's the mouth talking in, in the front side there, responding to a British journalist saying, sure, we don't have guns in our country, but we also don't have Mass shootings, to which Lauren, whatever, Marjorie Taylor Greene, they're the same person. One's blonde, one's brunette. It's like a flavor pack. It's choose your airhead of your choice. Shouts back, well, you have mass stabbings, lady. She literally took a second to think about it. And the best she could come up with was, well, you have something that's way less bad that I'm presenting in a tone of voice that makes it seem like it's exactly the same, lady. Dummy, dummy, Taylor Greene then follows up her own stupid statement with the next level of proof of her inane argument, which was, and all other kinds of murder. Oh, wow, that is so true. While we here in America have violent gun murder, where the weapon of choice can be used to indiscriminately kill lots of people in a short amount of time, other places like the United Kingdom have other kinds of murder, like slower less mass type of murders. You not only have mass stabbings, lady, you also have pillows in your country. No one's trying to ban those. Occasionally people get smothered by them and you can be very slowly killed one at a time, usually in very old TV shows that couldn't think of better ways to kill people in them. This seems like a silly example I'm making, but it literally is the example that very often people make in explaining why guns are not worse than other things that can kill people is that other countries have those other things. Yeah, that's true. And once again, those things don't kill as many people. Those things aren't as scary. As a British journalist says, knives don't make kids scared to go to school. They probably aren't even scared of using knives during their school lunches because the food is very soft in England. It needs to be, the teeth there are very weak. And when this nameless British voice of reason in the back of the room retorted to Marjorie Taylor Greene, so, uh, somebody so stupid that he doesn't deserve three names, let alone two or even one, and MTG makes her sound far too mysterious, the British voice of reason shouts, You have all kinds of murder, <laughs> and you've got laws same, against that. Like the same rates well, but not at nearly the same rates. An excellent counter-argument to the point that Bobert, whatever her name is, Yogurt, Green, murder, they're the same person. That Green said, Well, you have all kinds of other murders. She says, But even if that's true, we don't have nearly the same amount of it. Not as much, not as frequently. People aren't as scared of it. The best Green can do to reply is, Yeah, well, you can go back to your country. We like it here in ours. Who do? You? You like it here in ours? Because you get to shout stupid stuff and not get punished for it? A lot of us hate that you're in ours. We tell you to go back to your own country. Marjorie Taylor Thomas, I loved you on Home Improvement. You've been downhill ever since. Unfortunately, you're not from anywhere else. No other countries will take you. The best and boldest part of this clip is right after MT Genius shouts out, and Genius is said sarcastically there, shouts out, we got mass stabbings, lady. A person in the background laughs. Right in her face. You have mass stabbings, lady. You have all kinds of murder. And while this person wasn't trying to be bold or brave, they just couldn't contain the fact that they were in front of such idiocy and it spontaneously came out, it's brave because that's the one thing that perhaps can start shaming these idiots is to laugh in their stupid faces. We need to start doing that much more often. Every time they say something inane, stupid, indefensible, or just plain dumb, laugh at them. I don't take a damn aspirin, you know? I don't do it. 
I'm not doing it. I will not be forced into these drugs where they're going to kill people. We laugh at them privately. Maybe if we do it to their face, they'll start second-guessing what they say a little bit and stop making our brains slower and slower on account of their sheer stupidity. One can only dream. And lastly, the only thing even dumber than this clip that happened is that Marjorie Taylor Greene wasn't embarrassed by it, but instead tweeted it as an example of apparently how clever she is with the tweet text saying, when British press wants to argue about our God-given American gun rights, I tell them, go back to your country. She literally in her own tweet is saying, when they want to make arguments based on points and try to say things that I don't have good responses to, I just say, oh, well, I don't know. There's nothing I could really say to that, so I don't like you. Go back to where you come from. This is my house and my toys. And she tweets it as though she did something really good. And there's no time left in this video, and there's no patience left in my soul to pick apart her use of the phrase, God-given American gun rights. Okay, fine, real quick, let me just say, where is it said that God wants us to have guns? I thought it was the U.S. Constitution. Do they believe the Founding Fathers were God? Do they believe that God was one of the Founding Fathers? Did God wear a curly wig? Was God George Washington? Did God like to wear white tights and buckle shoes? More on this when morons like this talk again soon. Oh boy. I'm Ben Glebe. You can watch my hour stand-up special, Ben Glebe Neurotic Gangster, on Amazon Prime or YouTube. And five days a week, I'm releasing a new stand-up clip of crowd work on my TikTok and Instagram. Follow me at Ben Glebe on all platforms.